welcome back to another video so today we're gonna be doing a huge sheen haul if you guys don't know i have actually done a couple of sheen hauls so make sure you check it out on my page i'll actually link one of them here in today's sheen haul we're gonna be doing a little bit of everything we got clothes we got accessories we got some things for the jewelry things for the around the house and we even have one pet item and if you guys haven't seen it then Oh, we got spider too. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen it, you will see it now. It'll be the first item because I'm scared that she's going to yank it off for her. So, the first thing that we have from Shein is this cute knitted frog hat. Look at it, spider. Show him. Show him. Show him all angles. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Show him. Look. So, you do have to tie it. That's the only... I don't want to say downside, but it's a little complicated when you have your dog that doesn't like stuff being put on their ears because you have to get it through both of their ears as well, and then you have to tie it. So it's mission impossible, but of course we made it work. It's hard because our little teeth are coming in and she's biting me, but we, we did it. We did it. You like it, Spider? That's her name. Her name is Spider. She actually turned four months old. You can see the little details. You can see the little, what is this, the cheeks of the frog? I don't even know, but it's such a cute personalized hat, I would say, because I feel like knitted items are just more personalized. And even though I didn't make it myself, I still think it is a cute little gift. So the other dog item that I got was this pet animal wash foot cup. Very if you guys didn't know, dogs can only see blue and yellow, so that's why I picked the blue one. There's other colors. Now, I can't remember if you can get different sizes, but I believe it's one fits all, if I recall, maybe. That's the instructions right there. And basically, oh look, you can do, you can pick between pink, green, and blue. So, let me show you guys this massive cup. I did look at the reviews. If you don't look at the sheen reviews, what are you doing? First thing you gotta do is look at the reviews. So basically what you do is fill this cup with the water right here. And then, bam, this is the lid essentially. Close this. You put their little paw in here after a muddy walk, a rainy day. I've been getting a lot of those. So then what you do is, you know, you put the paw in there. And I guess we all pray that their paw stays in there and they don't try to fight you off for it because... Let's pretend this is their little paw, and then what you do is, bam, boop, 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 boop. you mix this around, you spin it like that, you spin it, and it's supposed to wash their little paw off. And now I saw comments of people saying, well, what do you do once it's really, really dirty, and you know, because the little flakes in here, what do you do if all the dirt is in there? I was just trying to remove it, and you can. You can remove this and essentially wash it yourself. Obviously, I would say you should at least once a week because... I don't know, this could be dangerous for mold, maybe. So I would say take this out and then wash it and put it back in. It's pretty neat. We shall see how good it works. I haven't tried it out yet because I was waiting to do this video, but it looks promising. I've seen mixed reviews, so and that officially is all the dog items that I got. Next we're gonna be doing miscellaneous slash accessories. In this case, this is for kind of my desk area. I got this little trash and this was one of those items that it just lipped up and I didn't check the reviews. So I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's pretty small. Let me show you. In comparison to a regular small trash can, this is what you're looking at here. So pretty small, okay, pretty small. I have also seen this little trash can on Amazon. I'm not sure if on Amazon it was the regular size or what, but that is an option over there, but of course it is a little more pricey. But if it's a full size, honestly, I would go for it. I'm not mad that it's a little trash can, but you know, when things are this small, it just fills up way quicker, so. And then I can't even really fit a regular bag, let's say from Target, it won't really fit in here, and if it does, it's gonna look all mm. So now you gotta go all out of the way and get another smaller bag maybe from dollar tree dollar tree has a lot of good little baggies that you can put for trash like this and i believe some of them are scented too so that could be a bonus but yeah it's this little strawberry 
and I think it's just super cute. I love the colors. I love the red. Okay. And it works. I guess I can't be too mad about it because technically now I have two trash in this room. One by my desk and one behind the camera. So how many more trash do you need in one room? And it's closed. So if you have anything in here that smells, it'll trap the smell. So the next item that I got is for my closet. So mine's spider. She's just chewing on the other one. I got this for my closet, and basically what you do is, you know, you put all your little hangers here, and you can either compact it down like this, so you would just hang this part, and the rest of all the other hangers will be kind of down. Or you can also move this around. It just moves. And then you could do it like this, and then essentially you hang all your hangers here, and then it's just, if you, let's say it's all jeans. And you just want to pick out your jeans, so you just grab this one, take it out, and look at all your jeans. See, simple. I just thought this was pretty neat, and I wanted to save some closet space, so what I'll most likely do is this way. That way I just hang whatever it is here, and then that way we can save some space. This is what it looks like. If you guys didn't understand what I was really explaining, because I'm not, I'm not the best explainer, then you get two. The next item that I got is this jewelry organizer. It is this dark, sexy green with gold compartments. <laughs> and if you didn't see this, it's a lock. So, let's open this baby up. I was about to say that I already lose the key. I think it's very neat. It reminds me of something antique. I know this is not antique, but just look at the key. I was feeling like I was in a movie when I got this, and I was thinking, oh, I could be one of those mysterious people that puts this on their necklace, and I'm the only one who has access to it, but it's not that deep. But if it was, you could put it into a necklace because it has a little hole right there, and you could carry it with you at all times. Okay, so let's lock it because I did test it out. I didn't want to test it out with my jewelry in there because I didn't. So I tested it out already. So, you know, let's lock it. I'm going to lock it here. Okay. And the way you would open it is you would lift this up and it would open. But you see how I locked it? Now let's unlock it. Or open it. However you want to call it. Voila. Isn't that neat? Now... I'm not sure if I'll be using the key, but I just, I feel like I like the key more than I like the jewelry organizer. Insane. What we have here is you can put all your necklaces up here. I guess long bracelets if you want to. I'm not really sure what this little pouch is here, but maybe some rings. I don't know. And then here... You can put your rings right here, or if you don't have a lot of rings, you could also use it for earrings. Just, you know, put them side by side right there. And then here you get one compartment for one watch right here. So you put the watch right there and lay it out. So it has its own little stand. And here, I was trying to think of what you could put here, but I'm not sure what you could put here, honestly. Extra watch bands, like, oh, and then... If you lift this up, you can put more earrings there. Man, listen, you can put whatever you want in there, buttons. That's the first compartment. Then, essentially, the rest of what you have is drawers. So you get two pull-out drawers. Let's do this one. And you can even take it all the way out or not more of whatever else you want to do in here it's pretty spacious i'll say that the squares are pretty generous in size you can also take it out if you wanted to but if you wanted to take it out you would have to take out the whole thing so you would just be left with the big square one big square then we have the last drawer and this one whatever you want to do so that's a lot of storage you know you have a good amount of jewelry i would say this is pretty neat and i also like the pattern on top as well that's very nice and that's all you get i think for the price it is very very well made and i love the key by the way i'm sure i didn't mention this but i will leave everything linked down below our next item is another jewelry holder 
specifically a necklace holder. So, obviously by now, you have guessed that I have a lot of necklaces. Yes, I do. And the one in the jewelry box, you know, that's that was a good amount, but that wasn't all of it. I have more necklaces than anything. So, I got this. So, let me show you. You just prop this up and bam, you're good to go. Now, I will say, I wish this was a little more sturdy. Just by the way that the way that I feel like it's gonna fall really easily. It's a little flimsy, you see. I wish that. Well, I guess technically, if because I guess what they did is you could just take this piece out and look at all of your necklaces and say, hey, which one do I want today? And then look at the back and then unstrap it. I guess that's a good idea, but I don't know. But if the issue is that it's flimsy, I guess you can super glue it if you want to. The backdrop of it is a black color. I think there was other colors, but I went with this one. And it is also made from this wood material. This is a close-up of it. The next item that I got four times is this purse hanger. Or really anything that you want to hang, I guess. But I'm going to use it for purses. We're going to do the little purse test to see how much it holds. So this is just a basic small purse. So it holds well. And you can just you know, hang this in your closet like you would any other piece of clothing. That, that holds the test. I knew it was going to do good with that. But the real question for me is can it hold a big heavy purse? So this is the purse that I'm using right now. And I just want to see can it hold it. So it does fit in here, you know, the band per se of the purse, it fits. But can it hold it? It's a little heavy, but technically it can. I'm going to pretend I'm a closet holder thing. <laughs> and I guess it does pass the test. You probably never have a purse that's already filled up and has a lot of things that are heavy in the purse. You know, when you hang your purses, they're probably empty. So this is the purse that I'm using right now so it has a lot of stuff in here but a regular big purse with nothing in here should do just fine the next item that I got two of is this back seat car organizer my car in the back passenger seats they do not have any compartment compartments to put anything in I need my storage okay I got these for the back seat here you can put an iPad here you got your iPad kid you can put a water bottle right here you can put a tissue box right here you can put some man listen you can put a lot of stuff is what I'm getting at so since my car doesn't have it, I'm so happy to get this. And the only thing that I don't fully understand, sometimes Sheen makes things more complicated than it needs to be. This came like this, guys. Why couldn't it have just come with this strapped to this and then you could just close it? Why can't they ever just make it easy on you? So I got two of those and they're black. And, you know, they're basic. They're basic quality. They don't feel cheap, but they don't feel super expensive. I just say they're just your average organizer holder. Kind of getting into the accessories side of things. I got this little bow combo. Came with a set of two. I got them in white. They had a lot of colors, but I'm basic, so I went with white. I hope it looks cute from the back. I don't know. I don't even know if you guys can see the whole thing. But this is what it looks like. And if you wanted to do two, I'll probably look horrible right now, but you guys get it. It's two cute little bows. You don't have to do two, but it came with two. If you're doing a pigtail type of style, you can do. Why am I talking to you guys in the back? If you do a pigtail, you can do one here, one here, you know. Hopefully, when I look back on the footage, you guys are able to see my head and my head doesn't look weird from the back because you know when you feel confident when your hair is like this in the front but then in the back it's a mess so hopefully it looks good or I guess you could also do it like this what do I feel like a kid again <laughs> bows bring out 
the best in me. I like it. And you can even get these for your kids. Actually, I've, I saw a couple of reviews of people using this with their kids. Maybe for a Halloween costume. My last accessory item are these new pair of glasses that I got. They did come in a case, but I threw it out because I never use cases. But just letting you know, it came with the case and a little, little sunglass wiper as well. And on the side, you get these stars, you know, if you like Hannah Montana, you know, okay. And I will say on the reviews, it's honestly all up to you and your face shape on whether or not glasses will look good on you. So you just kind of have to take a chance when buying glasses. And I swear from the reviews, it looked good on people with my face shape. But I feel like for me in person, I have a really, really small head, if you can't tell. I have a small head, and I just feel like they don't fit as well on me. And when I look down, like if I look down, I can see everything without the shades. They don't really fit me that well, but you can make this work. Even if you have a, what, oval, circular face like me, it just kind of have to has to be a little, like, lower. You can see it's really close to my nose, a little lower, and then you can make it work. I don't feel like returning it either. I'm too lazy to return anything, so. This is what they look like off my face. And on the inside, it's not really anything. Now, we are going to move on to the clothes. I got this bra. You know when you wear those shirts that are very v-neck and very low cut and you really have no bra for it because it would show your bra? Well, this bra is supposed to take care of that. So you put it on and, you know, let's pretend this is your v, v whatever, shirt, whatever, whatever. And you put this on and... You're good. You can't see the bra and you have the support. So I got this. Is it the cutest? No, not at all. I really don't love the under the under boob pattern, but who's gonna see it? No one. And if he is gonna see a girl, if he really loved you, he wouldn't care about the bra. Okay. I don't even think men care about the bras at all, so it shouldn't matter. And then, is it the most comfortable bra? No, but you get what you pay for. Next, I got this bandeau top. I'm not sure how to really say it, but you guys see it. You guys see it here. You know, it's your classical no straps kind of bra, but with no padding. So, bandeau top. What I really like about this strapless bra bandeau top is that it is comfortable material it is stretchy but definitely secure they're not going to go anywhere they're not going to move anywhere they're going to stay there wherever you move it to i feel very secure in this and the built-in material that's inside of this is kind of this elastic band i can't explain it that just basically guarantees that they won't move at all this is a beige slash nude color i really really like it i would say the next color that i should pick up is a white or a black one are you watching me you just you're making me nervous am i doing a bad job anyways i can't even think now this is what the back looks like the next item that i got is this long sleeve brazil shirt it is yellow and dark blue it says brazil has the brazilian flag and what does it say here it says south america and you get two little stars right there. I thought it was super cute. It is kind of cropped, as you guys can see, but not too cropped where I would feel uncomfortable not wearing it in public for the winter when it's not too, too cold. Even when it is too cold, you could layer it with a nice leather jacket. And this, this is what it looks like from the back. All the clothing items that I got were either in a size S or extra small. And then from the side, you get more of the yellow that we can see on the neck as well. They did have other color combinations with the same Brazil flag and a name. This next top that I got is kind of in the theme for Thanksgiving. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this, but I do like it now that I have it on. It adds a little more touch to, to the top because, you know, if it was a regular top, it would just be that. But it's not a regular top because you get this. Here you get this kind of sexy V moment. It's not too much, but if you have a lot of boobage, then I think this is going to look very sexy on you. Elegant. This is what it looks like, me standing up. 
you can see the little flaps a little better okay when you walk it's, it's, the back looks like and then the detail of course the little lines i seriously believe that lines add so much more to a top the next item that i got is this black romper now i do have several rompers that are black but i don't have a black romper that's like this with this kind of covering border whatever you want to call it i usually have just the one that's a spaghetti strap you know what i mean but with this you can wear whatever color bra you want if you wanted to and then it wouldn't show so i really like that and that's why i picked it up and it's not too short i think it's just right you can go out and run errands with this real quick you know, you don't have to think about it. You don't have to match a top and pants. Simple. This is what the back looks like. You get the little swoosh in the back. It does snug your, snug your stomach in real good. The next item that I got is this jumpsuit. Listen, I love me a good jumpsuit. And from the pictures, honestly, I feel like you can't tell that it's so much cleavage going on. Again, I know I don't have a lot of cleavage. But I just wish that this came like this with some buttons even or even a zipper up and down that way you can adjust however much you want to show because this is a lot okay this is too much for me if this is your get down i would say put some booby tape lift those babies up and bam you looking good i do like this jumpsuit it is comfortable but again it's showing a lot more than i want to show in public than at the bottom you know it covers you all the way down and i am on the shorter side but it does cover everything and it's not a lot of a lot of scrunched material at the bottom next item that i got is these pair of jeans it comes with kind of pockets but they're not fake you can actually put anything you want in here you can put your phone in here you can put your keys in here but it doesn't have a little button that closes it. So that's the only thing. I do like that. The pockets in the back are real. And the pockets in the front are real as well. So you do get a lot of pockets with these. Again, I would recommend that you guys check the reviews. Because people will tell you, hey, if I were you, I would size up. Don't have to size up. True to size. All that good stuff. So the comment section can really be your friend. This next pair of pants, per se... More like joggers. I got these from the petite section, so I didn't want to make a disclaimer about that. And in the back, these say 90s baby. I am a 90s baby. I was born in 99, okay? And what I really like, love about these is one, they're comfortable for around the house, but two, I love this little band. The pink and gray combo is so, so cute. Since this is from the petite shop, these fit perfectly. Listen. When you're short, it's hard to find something that fits perfectly and doesn't go below the ankle, but these are perfect, okay? So, petite approved. This next item that I got is more for the bedroom, so I will not be trying this on, but I kind of figured I wanted something for the night vibes, you know, like a night, not a robe, but a night gown, per se. Now, this is a little sexier than your traditional night gown, but... It's still cute. I wanted something where I could feel sexy in, yet comfortable. And this is definitely it. I love the patterns. It is some roses with the leaves. And it's very sexy. I like it. It's sexy. It's pink. It has a little bit of green. And the material is so soft. And it is washer and dryer friendly. It's not that long either, but you know mine fits kind of by the knee a little past the knee so i think that's a perfect size last but not least i got this pajama set it is a dark sexy blue with a little i don't even know can't really describe this material but flared out material i don't know guys i'm not good at describing material as you guys can tell but you get this cute little pink flower with the little green detail right there right there really small in the center very cute eye-catching this is what it looks like from the back the top portion at the bottom of the pants you get the same material that you get on top of the top and it fits me just right there on the ankle so this is not from the petite shop and that completes today's sheen haul 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. Me and Spot are going to head out. I'm going to take this little hat off of her. Before I forget you guys, Sheen did go ahead and give me this. Get 15% off orders that are over $69. It is Sheen2023. So make sure to snag that deal down before 2024. Bye, guys.